In order to use the Manipulate Bones tool, you need to have a boned character in your scene. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, we recommend that you open the Anime Studio Library and add Jace to your scene. Choose Window Library to open the library window. From the Other Characters category, locate Jace. To add Jace to the scene, check Jace Side and then click OK to add the side view to your project. Close the library after you add the character. Jace appears in the scene as a bone group. The various parts of the body appear as different layers within that bone group. To display the skeleton, select the top layer which has a bone icon displayed. The Manipulate Bones tool becomes enabled when the bone layer is selected. With the Manipulate Bones tool selected, click and drag one of the bones to move or rotate a body part to the desired position. Keep in mind that any changes that you make on frame 0 will not be animated. Advance the timeline to a later frame, such as frame 18, and then reposition one or more bones. When you move between frames, you'll see those body parts animated. 